Hi guys, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Happy, happy Thursday, Friday as follow. I hope everybody is having an amazing day. Hope everyone's having an amazing day. So guys, first and foremost, how is all my yum yums today? Hope all is well with everyone. I'm um, in the laundry mat and I'm washing some clothes, washing up some things and stuff I needed to wash. And um, so that's what I'm doing. So guys, I want to come in with a snip of a topic today um, in reference to what is going on in these YouTube streets. Yeah, what's going on in these YouTube streets? Crazy. So I saw a video um with uh, Truth Hurts and um, Love and Gossip um, in reference to Kicking It With Sin City. What in the bejesus is, what is going on with these, these people, you know? Um, Walty Walty, as my girl Celise call him, Walty Walty, you know, uh, what is actually going on with them? What is going on with Sin City and Walter? Is their marriage on the verge of breaking up or are they going to remain together? But I know that uh, they're going like they're, they're going at it. Uh, love and gossip and uh, truth hurts and um, kicking it with Sin City. Sin City made a video just the other day in reference to truth hurts and um, and love and gossip. That thing is on fire, you guys. It is truly, truly on fire. Yes, they are going at it. And um, so now supposedly there's supposed to be something going on with Walter. Um, I don't got the full story of it, but something's supposed to be going on with Walter. And uh, I guess, I don't know, maybe supposed to be seeing someone. I don't even think it's Walter. I think it's supposed Sin City. It's supposed to be something it's supposed to be going on with Sin City. It's supposed to be um quote unquote cheating on Walter. I don't know how true the story is because I don't watch Sin City's channel. I don't wa watch Walter channel. I watch his channel every now and then, you know, um his mukbang channels uh with him eating. He eats like a little rabbit. He doesn't eat much. He just nibbles and bite on a couple of bites and then he says he's full. But however the means may be. There is some stuff going on on there. When I tell you, man, these girls were smoking on this damn channel. Man, it, they are smoking on this channel. Uh, love and gossip. More so truth hurts and I think truth, hurt, truth hurts and Sin City. Now, I want to know who is this lady called Hippo. I don't know who this lady is. They keep saying, they keep speaking about a lady. I guess it's a lady. Hippo or something. Um, cootie roll, cootie roll, as my girl Wanda say, cootie roll, I think that's supposed to be kicking it with Sin City. Hippo, I don't know who she is or he is or whatever. Um, but yeah, there's a lot going on on here, honey. They are on fire on here. You know, it just doesn't make any sense. It just doesn't add up, you know, that these young ladies are going, you know, back to back with one another and, um, uh, you know, um, What's her name? Truth Hurts, speaking about kicking it with Sin City, knowing all her information. Kicking it with Sin City proclaims that she knows all the information about these girls. And she made a statement and said something about, if you're going to make a, a video about me in the um, evening, I'm going to make a video every day in the morning about you. You see how easy trouble is so easy to get in and damn hard to get out of? Yes, it is. You know, um, it's just, it's just, it's just all too much on this YouTube channel. You know, I mean, as I say, you know, and as I state that I do speak about topics on the channel, some things are better, better said, some things are better not said than done. You know, it's better to not even speak things because when you speak things, it comes back to bite you in the ass. Okay. Um, so yeah, that was the situation here with me, you know, um, and I sincerely apologize about it. 
I give my full apology. You know, I don't know if the person is going to accept the apology from me or not. I hope that they do. You know, I'm asking for their forgiveness. You know, I am woman of character to come here on this channel, you know, um, clearly and state my apology. I sincerely, truly apologize. If at any point or another, if I offended you, I am so sincerely, deeply sorry, and I apologize. I can't, I can't make it no better than that. I sincerely apologize. You know, um, what I spoke about, you know, I, I truly didn't mean any harm about it. Maybe some things that I've said shouldn't have been said. And, and that's a true fact that some things I spoke about should have not been said. Um, a video that I made, I should not have done. A second video that I did, it should not have been posted. So I took the the the, uh, the videos down, you know, because um, it did cause a little bit of a, a discrepancy. And again, I apologize. I sincerely, deeply, truly apologize for that. And I am looking in the camera and I'm looking you dead before your eyes. And I am asking you from the bottom of my heart to forgive me. I apologize for it. The videos have been removed and um, I hope that you, you know, have it in your heart and the, you know, the kindness in your heart to subside this, this situation and forgive me for it. I wasn't trying to get any sort of a recognition. I wasn't trying to achieve or accomplish anything by it. I was just speaking a topic, which it was a topic that um, is uh, it's a serious, you know, serious topic. And um, it should have not been, quote unquote, brought to the in, uh, YouTube industry. And um, I was wrong for it. So I had to, you know, take the and remove the, the videos. Now, I don't know if this is going to cause some cause discrepancy or cause problems or, you know, um, violent, viciously, maliciously, you know, go wrong. But at any point or another, I hope that that doesn't happen. You know, I was not trying to go for anyone. I was not trying to bash anyone. I was just stating my opinion on how I felt about a situation um, that clearly um, blew out of proportion. You know, it just totally blew completely out of proportion. And um, as I stated, you know, I cannot, I cannot, uh, you know, stress it any other way. I cannot, um, you know, give it to you any other way, but just to say that, you know, I'm here. I'm here today on my YouTube channel, and I want to sincerely once again apologize for the situation, the circumstance that was a private uh, matter that should have not been quote unquote indicated on the YouTube industry. I am not a bad person of character. I never was a bad person of character. I spoke about something that literally, you know, shouldn't have not been spoken about. It should have not been spoken about. But um, I am not a bad person, you know, and um, I really hope and sincerely hope that uh, this meets, you know, the standards of what I spoke about. And um, I totally agree that I was wrong. I totally agree 100 that I was wrong because some things are better, um, you know, kept unsaid than, you know, done, you know, very much so, you know, so I don't want to be looked at or labeled as a bad person. And I don't want to label anyone or look at them as a bad person because I got much love in my heart, prosperity, you know, in my heart and caring and compassion in my heart for, for, for anyone for that matter, you know, and, um, Sometimes when you um, try to be the better person or, you know, try to speak in a better perspective, sometimes things tend to come out wrong. And I do. I do. I do. I do. Do. Honest from the bottom of my heart. Deeply, truly from my heart. I am so sorry. I am so, so sorry. I hope that that the love, you know, for the situation uh, remains the same because I am not out to hurt anyone. You know, sometimes, you know, people can hurt you as well as I feel as though I've hurt someone. I deeply, truly, sincerely hurt someone. 
And um, I feel ashamed. I feel bad. I'm sorry I, I, I spoke of the topic, you know. Um, and again, it should not have been brought to this um, to this uh, channel on this platform. So I'm just here to just say, you know, hey, I can't express it any other way. Once again, you know, I am so sorry. But at any rate, guys, how are you yum yums today? I hope all is well with everyone. I hope everybody is enjoying the chilly, brisk day. I'm trying to get a load of clothes out the way, although I have another load tomorrow to wash. I have to do a little bit at a time because I have bad legs, guys. Bad legs, bad knees. And so I have to take my time and do my clothes because I cannot do three loads of clothes all in one setting because these legs will not allow me, honey. They will fold from under me, honey, and I'll be laying somewhere, you know. But yeah, so, you know, I'm not going to do nothing other than to clean up my house and um, fold up my clothes, put my clothes away. I went around to the church today, you know, I go around there um, twice a week, you know, they're, they're, they're amazing people. The pastor's amazing pastor, you know, very, very much so. He does a lot for the community and I so and hope everybody else who goes around there so appreciate what this pastor does for the community. A very, very amazing um, pastor, a very, very amazing, very amazing um members at the church very wonderful people and uh i went around there today and um so i didn't see my boy standing out there normally he goes in and he grabs the stuff up for me he brings it up and he put it in a cart for me but today he was not there so i had to i had to struggle to get the daggone cart down the steps you know and the steps were so steep and by my legs being you know not too good excuse me, I had to hold on. The banister is very, very, very low. So um, so one of the gentlemen down that was already down there, he seen me trying to get the cart down the steps. He said, hey, let me grab that cart for you. Because I'm telling you, if he wouldn't have grabbed the cart, I think I would have been laying at the bottom of the step. And um, yeah, so the members there, they're, they're wonderful people. The congregation is wonderful. And so I'm thinking about well, they're back in service now that, you know, they have church now. Um, they're still social distance. You know, everyone has their mask on. The church is really big inside. And um, I'm thinking about going around there, you know, to, you know, sit in on a Sunday, one Sunday and, you know, hear the pastor preach because I never heard him preach. I think I've been there maybe one time or another, maybe about two years ago. And um, this is before this uh, C-19 struck us, you know, unfortunately. And um, I didn't stay too long, you know, to hear the word. I just stepped in just for a moment and then I came back out. But um, he's, an, he's a wonderful pastor, guys. He's an amazing pastor and he does some amazing things for the congregation. And I'm going to go in, I'm going to go in and do a, a, a setting and um, just stay through the whole service and just, you know, chill in the whole service, you know. Because the devil is busy. The devil is busy. And I don't want anyone to think that Anastasia Garadelli's world is a part of the devil's um, manipulating um, situations and stuff. Because that's not my character, as I stated. You know what I mean? Like, it was a, a issue that occurred. And um, I spoke upon it, and which I, which I should have just, you know, just really just kept the topic to myself. You know, um, and as I stated, you know, this wasn't to viciously, maliciously or violently try to manipulate anyone under no circumstance or hurt anyone's pride or feeling, you know, because I have the utmost respect. I have the utmost respect, you know, and um, right now I probably won't get the respect because, you know, um, the anger may be there. And I can understand that. I respect that, you know, it was wrong. I was wrong. And. You know, um, I shouldn't have never, you know, spoke the topic, you know, even though this is a topic channel. But again, some things are better kept than said, you know, and um, the issue should have just been kept and not said. You know, I, I just can't I can't express it any other way than that, you know. So, guys, on that note, I hope that all my yum yums 
and each and everybody everywhere all over the world have love and compassion and consideration in their heart to reach out and to forgive, to forgive, live and let live, forgive, you know, and um, move on with life because life is short, you know, for trials and tribulations. And um, that's my opinion, guys, and I'm sticking to it. So on the other note, I had to go over here. I'm just jumping to one subject to the next. On the other note, I had to... Um, Go over here and oh, this air, excuse me, and wash some things. So then I got to go to the dumpster and I got to take some things. These are the clothes that's sitting on the chair right here. The jeans are too heavy for me to put in the dryer because if I put all those jeans and my sweaters in there and the sweatpants, my clothes are not going to dry completely. Sorry, guys. Do you see Anastasia back there? That's Anastasia back there. That's my daughter and her husband down there on the shelf. And you guys are already familiar with T.T. the turtle and uh, Oscar, Oscar the fish. So, um, yeah, and I wanted to come in also and say that my girl, uh, oh, damn it, what is her name? Chrissy, Dream, Dream Chrissy. She knows who I'm talking about. Um. She was talking about doing a uh, collaboration. Um, I don't know um, if she's speaking about collaboration like over a live or whatever, you know. But, uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm trying, you know, I'm waiting for her to get back in touch with me. She comes in to um, place a comment every now and then. Uh, yeah. And, oh, yeah, guys. So let me tell you, my girl Barnett Perkins she made it to 1K. I knew my girl can do it because she has some amazing. I mean, when I say this lady has some amazing contents, I don't know how she get that damn background like she gets it. I mean, the backgrounds and everything that she does in her videos is amazing. It's amazing. But unfortunately, you know, she may have the, the tools to do all that. I'm just on a phone doing that because, guys, you know, it took me a while to get a new phone because the other phone bonkered out on me. And um, I had to, you know, sacrifice and save and uh, get another phone, you know, and thank God I have another phone. I almost dropped it the other day. So I got to get a case and I got to get a... um a screen thing, a screen saver to put on the front because I almost dropped the phone the other day. And uh, so, yeah, so now I'm happy to be back here on my channel, you know, talking to my yum yums and each and everybody everywhere all over the world saying, hey, guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome back to Anastasia Garodelli's World YouTube channel. You know, I'm not going to be um, sitting here and not doing my videos. I'm not going to allow myself to be saddened. Uh, once again, about the situation that had occurred, you know what I mean? I just asked for forgiveness from God and asked for forgiveness for, for this individual um, source, you know, let's just say source, you know, to um, once again, to hopefully to accept the apology. But right now, you know, there's anger in the air and I can understand that. I can respect that because, again, some things are better kept than said. Some things are better kept than said. Sometimes you got to be mindful, cautious, and careful. And I wasn't mindful. I wasn't cautious. And I wasn't careful. I was not. The three of those, I was not. You know, and um, now I know it's a valuable lesson to be learned. You know, some things you have to keep to yourself and woosa and take a breath and just leave it where it lies. Okay? So, guys, let's just give love and, and you know, compassion and you know, consideration to one another and let's just subside things that's in the world that's going on and, you know, just live peacefully and humbly and, you know, and forgiveness and kindness and courtesy in the heart because life is not promised to me, you, and no one else. A second, minute, hour, week, year, month, or whatever the means may be. All right, guys. So again, guys, this is Anastasia Garadelli's world coming into you today on YouTube um, to say hello and welcome back to the channel. If you have not yet subscribed, if you choose to subscribe, if you choose not to subscribe, if you choose to thumbs me up or thumbs me down, it is your comment. It is your opinion, whether you choose to thumbs up, thumbs down, leave a comment down below. You know what I mean? Um, 
or you have something to say, you know, it is your opinion, your comment, and I can't take that away from you. All right, guys. So on the other note, on the other hand, have an amazing day. Again, guys, I am not here to bash, hurt, or harm, or cause any discrepancy or danger to anyone, no one in life. No one, absolutely no one in life, because I am a good person and I will not, shall not, and cannot, and will not accept the fact that I am being labeled as this quote unquote, you know, um, vindictive, um, demonic, evil, mean, you know, person, because that's not my character. I love up on everybody, but everybody just doesn't love up on me. And that's okay because. You can feel however you choose to feel about someone. No one can take that away from you. Okay, guys? So on the other hand, guys, have an amazing day. Stay positive. Stay blessed and keep that peace. And stay out of trouble and let no hurt, harm, and danger come against you. I think I've learned a valuable lesson today. I've learned a valuable lesson. I shall not, will not, cannot ever, ever not be mindful, cautious, and careful again under no circumstance. Because when you're not mindful, cautious, and careful, sometimes the things that you speak of your from your mouth, although sometimes it may you may not say it as meaning being meaning it as being harm harmful to anything or anybody, but sometimes the words can come out wrong. You get me? Sometimes the words can come out wrong and it can cause a situation. It can cause discrepancy. It can, it can be violently, maliciously, I mean, all the above. And I don't want any of that because that's just not my character. All right, guys. So have an amazing day. I got to get back over here to the laundry and check on my clothes. Okay, guys, because I know they're probably not dry yet. That's why I took all the heavy duty stuff out and left the thin things in there. And I'll talk to you wonderful yum yums later. Deuces. Bye, guys.